Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson is tracking the impact this will have on teachers and schools. But first right now, this move is proving to be a little controversial with some on the verge of getting vaccinated now finding themselves at the back of the line. Channel 3's Matthew Campbell is here right now with more on that. Matthew. Yes, Mark, you know, this really shows how quickly things can change. Yesterday, if you were a young person who's going through a serious medical condition or a young grocery store worker, you were probably supposed to be up next. Now you're waiting months. Today was the first time in almost a year that I went out in public. It was a milestone today for Francesca Lafferty. The Wilton woman has been battling neutropenia since 2019. It's a condition where white blood cells, which fight infections, are critically low. Before COVID even happened, I was afraid of catching a cold or going to the grocery store. I was already like that. Now I just sit here in my room waiting for the day for me be able to live my life again. Today's visit to the outside world was for a blood test. I still have this on my arm. The days of standing tall with Popeye at Encore Boston Harbor were so close to happening again. Francesca says her condition allowed her to be up next for the vaccine. But then came today's announcement that Connecticut will be moving to an age-based rollout. It really felt like a punch to the gut. The 28-year-old suddenly finds herself at the bottom of the rollout, waiting for May 3rd. I felt prioritized, and today it was just completely stripped away. This age-based rollout marks the first time Governor Lamont diverged from the CDC's recommendations. It's not working in terms of the lens was too broad. It was too badly uh, ill-defined. We asked if people who are currently battling health issues might be granted an earlier date. Most people over the age of 55 do have a chronic condition, and many of the chronic conditions on the CDC list are concentrated in older age groups, so we're catching the majority. That just puts people like me at higher risk. The state defends the move, pointing to this chart showing the local deaths by age grow rapidly as you get older. But it does nothing for younger people who may be at an equal risk if they do get the virus. If I'm last in line and everyone around me is gathering more, it just doesn't make any sense. Now, Lafferty is trying to start a movement. Looking online, there are definitely dozens who are posting publicly about their similar situations. Now, Lafferty says she's trying to grow the hashtag high risk CT and show local and state leaders that there are many in her shoes. Live here in studio, Matthew Campbell, Jonathan News.